So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. Now listen, the next video is called Submarine Captures What No One Was Supposed to See, right? Now, when I was younger, I used to think like submarines could go to like <laughs> to the bottom of the ocean, you know? Yes, naive little kid. What do you expect? Imagination everywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But as I got older, I think I read somewhere, man, that they can't go that low. I think it was saying that if it does, the, the pressure, it can just pretty much crush it, causing an implosion if it goes too low. I was like, what? I didn't know that, bro. I didn't know that. Somebody make sure, fact check, you know, Google fact check me and make sure that's correct. But that's what I was, that's what I heard, man that they actually can't go that low because of the pressure and then it'll cause an implosion, but it's super crazy, but still interesting to see what we'll get to see from submarines. All right. So if you're new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button, join the family. All right. Moment of silence for the haters. That's enough. Now run the lights up. Make sure you hit that like button. Here we go. Our planet is a wondrous place with natural attractions that never cease to impress. Earth has a lot of things to discover from land to sea. Of course, our life here wouldn't be complete without mysteries. There are some pretty weird and bizarre things out there that not a lot of humans see. In this video, we'll show you some of the weirdest and most uncanny discoveries from both land and sea. From fish with a human face to laughing stingray, here are 15 <laughs> most mysterious things you've never seen before. Number 15. Fish with human face. There are a lot of weird looking fish out there, but this one surely takes the cake. This car- Somebody tell me that's Photoshop. Please tell me this is Photoshop. With a human face was captured by a local villager outside the city of Kunming, South China. The footage of the animal poking its head above the surface of the water near the lake's edge immediately went viral. You can see that the carp really looks like it has two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. The woman that filmed the fish claimed that the creature turned into a fairy. Some people claim that the footage may be fake and the video has been tampered to make it look like the fish has a human face. However, there's actually countless evidence that carps can really have weird markings. Bro, it really has a face. It looks like it got eyes, nose, mouth. Like lips that women out here would die for because lips look like they got injections, like they puff out, like they puff out. Just like this. Since people became curious about the fish, some photographers attempted to capture a clearer picture. As you can see, the markings on the head of the fish really look like the features of a human. Would you believe that there are people all around the world that would pay hundreds of dollars just to obtain carps or koi fish with unique markings just like this? I'd probably be creeped out if I ever encountered a fish like this, but carps in general are pretty interesting with their intricate markings. They tell y'all it's a million dollars for that fish, what you doing? Eh, I'm diving right in there, bro. Go get them. <laughs> Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Starfish walking on the beach. Every now and then, a video of an animal doing a random thing goes viral on the internet, purely because they were doing something that's far from people's expectations. We're all familiar with Patrick Star from SpongeBob, and we all know that starfish don't really walk on two legs. In fact, most of us probably have no idea how starfish move about on land in the first place. Nope. Well, millions of people had their minds blown when they saw this starfish taking a stroll down the beach back in 2012 along the outer banks of North Carolina. Perhaps some of you even felt disgusted by this walking starfish. Certainly, some of us didn't expect that they have tiny legs underneath. But what exactly is going on in this video? Starfish may look like creatures that spend most of their time just chilling on the seabed, stationary, and immobile, but they're actually pretty quick on their feet. What you're seeing right here is an adult sunflower sea star that can move at the amazing speed of 3 feet per minute. They make it possible because they're equipped with about 15,000 tube feet, all located in their underbelly. Some other species can be slower, but that doesn't change the fact that these creatures can easily walk on land when they want to. You see, starfish are actually bilateral creatures, which means they move just like other crustaceans, like crabs and lobsters. The way their tube feet move is also quite unnerving for some, because it creates a wave-like motion. If you're at the beach and you're curious about these creatures, 
It's better not to pull one out of the water though, because although the starfish in the video survived being out of the water for a while, a huge number of them can't breathe when they're out of the water for too long. Number 13. Wow. Yeti Crab Most people that enjoy eating seafood would love some good crab meat, but would you dare eat this new species of crustacean? No. What you're looking at right now is the Yeti Crab. These creatures live in the South Pacific, and their kind was first discovered by scientists in 2005. These crabs are formerly known as Kiwa Hirsuta, and they're known for their furry claws and legs. Just take a look at this fella. Their claws are so furry that their discoverers immediately dubbed them as the Yeti Lobster, or Yeti Crab. Despite their cute appearance, they're actually quite mysterious. These guys are elusive, rare, and unusual. They live in the deep oceans, particularly in hydrothermal vents. These vents actually have hot water, which makes up the environment where these special crustaceans thrive. You might be wondering how they survive in this environment. The answer is their furry claws. Their hairy arms actually act like a filter to regulate the toxins released from the hydrothermal vents. Number 12. Bar I, I swore I've never eaten like anything like blue crab again ever since I discovered crab legs as a kid, fam. Like, you know, I'm not eating that. Even if that, that crab was able to be eaten, no, I'm cool. I don't need to be scavenging like that for them little tiny, thin little pieces of meat. No, you had more peace than that stuck between your teeth, man. No. Mystery safe. What would you do if you saw a safe in the middle of nowhere? Would you be brave enough to pick it up? Or would you leave it alone? Personally, I wouldn't dare to bring the safe back home. I've seen too many horror movies to do something this daring. But in 2020, some locals found a huge safe on the side of the road in a small town located in upstate New York. The people that found the safe initially had the questions you're probably thinking about right now. First, who left this giant safe in the middle of the field? Second, why would anyone leave such a thing on a farm? And lastly, what could be hidden inside? The safe just mysteriously appeared out of nowhere, and it boggles the mind to think how people managed to put this 500 to 600 pound safe near one of the barns. The owner of the farm used a sledgehammer to knock off the dial and handle to satisfy the locals' curiosity. It certainly served as a great guessing game, and a welcome distraction for many. A lot of people seem to have been captured by the mystery of the bar safe, and according to the owner, it was a great puzzle to ponder about, especially during these trying times. Number 11. Danakil Depression What you're seeing right now isn't the set of an alien or fantasy movie. This place actually exists in real life. What you're seeing right here is the harshest place on Earth, called the Danakil Depression. Also known as the Gateway to Hell and the Land of Death, these sulfurous hot springs, acid pools, and salt mountains serve as one of Ethiopia's top attractions. As weird and trippy this place is, visiting here is no joke. It's one of the hottest places on Earth, and it's also one of the lowest with points over 400 feet below sea level. During your visit here, you might encounter a lot of salt miners and scientists taking advantage of the resources of this hellish place. This surreal location was born out of the continental drift of three tectonic plates. If you have visit the most unusual place on Earth on your bucket list, the Nadanakil Depression is your go-to place. No other location here on Earth is more bewildering and unusual than this place. Number 10. North Sentinel Island As big as the Earth is, there are actually some places on our planet that are off limits. One of them is the mysterious North Sentinel Island in what that got to do? How did a submarine capture this, bro? <laughs> they be killing me. They be having some stuff for the submarine, and then they be having all, all other kind of clips in here and different things to talk about, too. I ain't really tripping because I still enjoy the video, but they be catching me off guard with that sometimes. In India, this island is home to the Sentinelese tribe, and it's one of the most forbidden islands in the world. Until today, the people living here are still untouched by the modern world, and they know nothing about what's outside their island. I wonder if the Sentinelese know how popular and famous they are. Like, they, they live in their life, they going on about their business and everything like that. But I know I've seen this, them talked about on at least 50 or so videos, bro. Maybe 100. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if they know how viral they are. The Sentinelese like their privacy, and they try their best to protect their island. They're known to attack those who try to visit, and they don't like strangers staying too close to their homes. It's believed that this tribe has been living on the island for more than 50,000 years under the protection of the Indian government. 
However, just recently a team of anthropologists tried to reach the tribe living on the island with the government's permission. One woman managed to take a closer look on how these people live. However, when they came back with a bigger team, they were welcomed with hostility, and ever since, they don't dare come back to the island. To this day, the island and its people are still closed off to the outside world, and we don't know anything about their habits or lifestyle. Number 9. Michigan Triangle I bet that all of you heard about the Bermuda Triangle at some point. Yep. Dozens of conspiracy theories surrounding the location are known worldwide. People from all around the world claim that in this location, ships and planes mysteriously disappear with the people on board, never to be seen again. But have you ever heard of the Michigan Triangle? This alleged location stretches from Ludington to Benton Harbor in Michigan until Manitowoc, Wisconsin. You're probably wondering why this place was named something so mysterious. Right. It all started back in 1891 when a schooner set sail across Lake Michigan carrying lumber. However, the ship never reached its destination. Shipwrecks are quite common, but the remains of the schooner were never found, and despite carrying loads of wood, no debris was ever found. Even today, the schooner is yet to be discovered. It was as if the schooner just vanished from that one trip along with its captain and seven crewmen. Back in 1921, another curious incident occurred in the Michigan Triangle. Eleven people boarded the Rosa Bell ship and set sail in Lake Michigan. And a few days later, the ship was found, floating upside down. Like I said, accidents always happen. But the most terrifying thing is the fact that none of the eleven members on board were seen again. Investigations indicated that the ship may have been damaged due to a collision with another boat. And yet, no other ship was reported to have been caught in an accident. No evidence was found to support this theory. No bodies were discovered, and the only proof that Rosabelle existed in the first place is the ship itself. Another story that contributes to the mystery of Lake Michigan is the mysterious disappearance of Captain George R. Donner. On the 28th of April, 1937, the captain rested in his cabin after braving Lake Michigan during the day. Three hours later, the crew decided to wake up their captain to let him know that they were approaching the port. They tried opening the door, but the cabin was locked from the inside. They couldn't find the captain anywhere else on the boat, and it's like he vanished from the ship in thin air. Locals also reported that they frequently see some unexplainable strange lights above the waters of the lake. Because of this, many people are convinced that there's something strange and supernatural going on in the lake. Some people even believe that the Michigan Triangle may be the portal to another dimension. Another discovery that added to the mystery of the lake was found in 2007. Some rocks were found in one part of Lake Michigan, and it's estimated that they were created nearly 10,000 years ago. Needless to say, this location really is suspicious and mysterious. Number 8. Jawfish Mouth Brooding Eggs There are some pretty weird animals out there, and most of them live underwater. What you're seeing right here is a jawfish. Male jawfish in particular are known as Mr. Mommies, or literal daddy daycare. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why you gotta call them Mr. Mommies? I felt that was a tad bit disrespectful to that male fish. You know what I mean? Y'all should have to square up behind that comment. Like... Don't do that. Male jawfish in particular are known as Mr. Mommies, or literal daddy daycares. You see, these creatures can be seen with their mouths full of eggs. It's kind of comical to see them with their overflowing jaws and their beady black eyes that are completely wide open. These fish are usually found in Bonaire, Cozumel, Fiji, Honduras, and the Philippines. You might easily miss these tiny creatures, but a dead giveaway of male jawfish are their swollen cheeks. As long as you approach carefully, you'll be able to observe these creatures from a safe distance. It's quite interesting to see a male jawfish taking care of a clutch of eggs in his open mouth. Keeping their eggs here means that they're kept clean and they have access to oxygen-rich water. Most jawfish are actually mouth brooders, and the male carries the fertilized eggs in their mouths patiently, incubating them and keeping them safe until they hatch. You may be wondering, what if these fish want to eat? Well, they will split the egg back into their burrow and find some snacks to fill their tummy. After that, they're back to being a dedicated dad again and put back the eggs in their mouths. They only need to take care of the eggs for five to seven days. And after that, you'll see the amazing sight of tiny little jawfish spawning from their dad's mouth. And who said it ain't no good men out there? All the real dads and fish dads, stand up. Give yourself a pat on the back or, or, or fin or, or whatever. But yeah. Number seven, tiny coffins. 
In late June 1836, a group of boys that were out hunting rabbits in the slopes of Arthur's Seat, Edinburgh made a horrifying discovery. In a secluded spot on the northeastern side of the hill lies 17 small coffins, each one of them occupied by tiny dolls. A lot of people were terrified to see these coffins, and no one really knew who put them there or why they did so in the first place. Theories range from satanic practice to cult rituals to a simple child's toy. But who would even create these intricately carved figures? And are they supposed to represent something? Even today, these tiny coffins still remain to be a baffling mystery. What do you think of these coffins? Number 6. House of Fairies, Domus de Janus Located in Sardinia in Italy, these house fairies, or Domus de Janus, are well known all throughout the world. These stone caves carved into rocks are very special. These are actually funeral caves that were used in the ancient times by people that inhabited Sardinia. These caves are strategically placed next to each other, as if they were creating a huge necropolis. There's a lot of stories surrounding this place. According to an ancient Sardinian legend, these caves were once inhabited by the Janus. They're small women who are often referred to as fairies or witches. They're part of a lot of folk tales. It was said that these creatures only get out of their caves during the night. Some stories even say that during the full moon, the Janus go to the village to borrow some yeast. Just like fairies from fairy tales, the Janus would often approach newborns and babies to determine their fate. These caves were used for over 1500 years, and it certainly is amazing to think that back then, people carefully created these caves that even have some engravings of magic symbols. Number 5. Volkonsky Dolmen of the North Caucasus Since we're already on the topic of magical and mysterious places around the world, allow me to tell you about the Volkonsky Dolmen. Located in the gorge of the Godpik River, these monoliths and stone labyrinths make up this mysterious site. Most of them are represented by rectangular structures created out of stone slabs or rocks with holes in the middle. These curious monoliths cover both sides of the mountain ridge representing a unique type of prehistoric architecture. These were built approximately 9,000 years ago, and it's quite amazing to think that back then, people already had the ability to carve these stones knowledgeably. It was even perfectly placed, and some of them were found near a source of mineral water. There's also a legend connected with the Volkonsky Dolmen. It told the love story of a rich nobleman and a beautiful but poor commoner girl. Because of their status, they couldn't marry each other, and the man thought that it'd be better for him to turn to stone than to live without his beloved. Hearing his wish, the heavens turned him into stone. Upon hearing what happened, the girl wished with all her might to let her be with her beloved, and she soon turned into a small stream with clear water. But what was the purpose of these monoliths? Researchers hypothesized that this site may have been used as an ancient sanctuary where people can meditate. And now it's time for today's topic. For many years... That's what love is right there. Turn yourself into stone. Not get stone, turn yourself into stone. People have been talking about the existence of mermaids. Many sailors from all around the world shared their tale of seeing a half-human with the tail of a fish spotted in the ocean. However, there's still no solid proof of their existence, and a lot of people are still skeptical. Take a look at this photo. Could this be proof that sea people like mermaids really do exist out there somewhere in the ocean? Or is this another hoax created to make us believe that we're not alone on our planet? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Magna Pinna Squid Are you scared of the ocean and the creatures that lurk in the deep waters? Yes. Well, be prepared because the Magna Pinna Squid may be your newest nightmare. Also known as Big Fin Squid, this creature earned the nickname Long Arm Squid because of their tentacles that are extremely long, ranging from 13 to 26 feet long. The largest Big Fin Squid found was about 21 feet long, with tentacles that spanned about 20 feet. Can you imagine that? The Magna Pinna Squid's tentacles are 20 times more than the length of its body. Just imagine seeing a squid that's one foot long, then suddenly seeing extremely long appendages behind the squid. There are a lot of questions surrounding this squid because they're rarely seen, and it's only about 20 years since the Big Fin Squid family was officially described by scientists. Even today, we still don't know how they feed with such long appendages. These creatures are scattered all around the world, and with each sighting, we slowly get to know more about these mysterious and wondrous creatures. Number 3. Fish with Transparent Head uh -huh. 
Let's continue our streak about terrifying ocean creatures, shall we? Recently, scientists discovered this fish with a transparent head. This is- If there was ever an alien fish out there that you would be like, point at and be like, that was an alien. It's this fish right here. This one checks off all the boxes. This is the barrel fish found in the waters in many parts of the world, from the Bering Sea to Baja, California. You see through, right through its head to its brain to its everything. Even to the waters of Japan. Like all animals, their body structures are formed in such a way that helps them to have a better chance of surviving in their environment. The barrel fish not only have a transparent head, but they also have tubular eyes that are actually inside their transparent head. Yep, you heard that right. The black spots that you see in front of their heads are actually their olfactory organs. Their eyes are inside their transparent head that can rotate upwards to look for prey above it. And when they want to see what's in front of them, they rotate their eyes forward. I guess it makes sense why their eyes can rotate upwards, because these guys like to occasionally steal prey that's caught in the tentacles of other sea creatures. Number 2. Masuda no Iwafune as much as this stone resembles a spaceship, what you're seeing is actually the mysterious monoliths of Asuka Nara and the rock ship of Masuda in Japan. Located in the Takeichi district of the Nara prefecture in Japan, these ancient monoliths date back from 250 to 552 AD. What is the nature of this rock? And what is its purpose? Who created this stone and why? No one really knows for sure, but there are multiple theories about these stones. A popular theory is that these monoliths were created to serve as an astronomical observation point. Some historians think that this site was used as a tomb for members of the royal family, but this explanation doesn't really account for the monolith's unusual features, like square holes on top of the stones, and there are also no bodies found in this area. Number 1. Laughing Stingray This laughing stingray went viral on the internet recently. As you can see, the creature looked like it was smiling while it was being tickled by the gloved man. You'll either find its face cute or creepy, no in between. I personally find it cute if not for the fact that the stingray isn't actually laughing or giggling. Instead, it's highly possible that this stingray is suffocating to death. Stingrays are sea creatures and they need to be underwater to live. It looks like it's smiling, but it may have been feeling the opposite of happiness at the time. They may look cute, but experts advise that people don't touch any marine animals without prior knowledge about them, because it could endanger both yourself and the animal. That went from nice to like, fool, what is you doing? Put it back in the water, quit tickling it for your own pleasure. Like, what the f Oh, man, I don't know what's wrong with us. Something wrong with us, bro. Like... It did look like it was laughing and smiling, but he changed my whole tone. He said he could be suffocating because he needs to be in the water. Like, bro, come on, man. Like, not for a viral moment. Put it back in there. Even though stingrays are deadly because they know we know they can sting you and take you out. It's rare, but it happens. You know what I mean? So I hope he was knowing what he was doing and being careful. I hope that thing wasn't suffocating. You know? Still. It still, it still shouldn't happen, but... I, that that last one got me. It was crazy. It was crazy. You saw my whole tone just change because as of what he was saying. But anyway, listen, man, y'all get at me in the comment section and let me know what y'all thought of this video, man. It, some of this stuff is crazy. You got a fish with a see-through head. How crazier can you get? Just wait till we start discovering more things. I'm here for it. You know what I mean? Y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And stick around and stay tuned until next one. I'm gone. Peace.